Ukraine has entered a new chapter in battlefield and post-conflict demoning with the launch of the Germana URCM-3000, a next-generation robotic demoning system built to tackle the massive threat of landmines and unexploded ordnance left in the wake of the ongoing war. The Ukrainian Demoning Services, UDS, recently began field evaluations of this innovative machine, developed by the Kramatorsk Heavy Machine Tool Plant, KZVV, with hands-on input from seasoned Ukrainian clearance professionals and inspired by operational experience with foreign platforms such as the Slovak Bozina. The Germina is uniquely tailored to Ukraine's specific challenges, from inconsistent terrain and soil composition to varied vegetation and harsh weather extremes. It's engineered to face down a spectrum of explosive hazards, including anti-vehicle and anti-personnel mines, cluster munitions, and lingering explosive remnants of war. In a strategic move to reduce dependency on foreign equipment, over 60% of its components, including high-wear elements like chains and hammers, are manufactured locally. Weighing in at 16 tons, this remote-controlled system is built on a rugged Italian Track 1 chassis and powered by a 380-horsepower Caterpillar engine, offering excellent fuel economy and reliability. With hydraulics supplied by Dan Foss, Denmark, it brings European-quality performance into a Ukrainian-made package. The Germana features a versatile suite of tools, including a universal bucket, cutter, manipulator, and trench-clearing attachments, designed for operation across various terrains, open fields, forests, urban areas, and fortified zones. Its combat-grade durability is evident in its ability to withstand explosions of up to 9 kilograms of TNT. Controlled from up to 1 kilometer away, the machine is optimized for year-round operations in temperatures ranging from minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 45 degrees Celsius. Each unit can operate for 10 continuous hours and requires only bi-hourly maintenance checks, making it both effective and low maintenance in the field. Recent trials in a previously cleared agricultural zone near Bucha yielded impressive results. The Germana cleared a 100-meter strip in just over a minute and a half, achieving a 2.7-meter swath at a working depth of 5 centimeters. Simulated threats including a mix of anti-tank mines, anti-personnel devices, and grenades, were successfully neutralized. Based on this performance, the system is estimated to process up to 5,000 square meters per hour, potentially reaching 5 hectares in a single shift. The operational deployment of five Germana units is expected in the first half of 2025 under an agreement with KZVV. These will be dispatched to the regions of Kiev, Kharkiv, Mikhailov, and Kherson. Technical oversight during the prototype stage includes on-site engineering support from KZVV and a specialized UDS commission comprising demoning experts. The Germana has already drawn interest from multiple stakeholders. During its official presentation, representatives from Ukraine's Ministry of Economy, Ministry of Defense, Emergency Services, and various international NGOs, including ANOPS, UNDP, and the HALO Trust, were in attendance. Several agreements were signed for future procurement, further cementing the system's role in Ukraine's expanding demoning strategy. President Zelensky stressed the national priority of demoning, urging continued innovation to prevent landmine contamination from becoming a generational burden. Deputy Minister Iyer Beskarovaniai underscored the value of domestically rooted, field-tested designs, while UDS Technical Director Eduard Drach pointed to the Germana's balance of mobility, simplicity, and survivability as key to reclaiming agricultural lands. The extent of landmine use in Ukraine is staggering. Since the war's escalation, Russian forces have deployed at least 13 types of antipersonnel mines, while Ukrainian forces have also used mines for defense, including U.S.-supplied Atom and Modular Pack mine systems. As of April 2025, an estimated 139,000 square kilometers, about 23% of Ukraine's territory, remain at risk due to mine contamination, threatening civilians and blocking agricultural productivity. To address this monumental challenge, Ukraine is rapidly scaling up its use of unmanned and robotic systems. From just two mechanized demoning vehicles in 2023, the country expanded to 52 by 2024. Plans are underway to deploy up to 15,000 unmanned ground vehicles by year's end. 
Ukraine will also acquire 26 GCS, 200 units from Global Clearance Solutions and continues to innovate at home, recently unveiling the MP5100 capable of neutralizing threats buried up to 30 centimeters deep. By merging cutting-edge technology with localized knowledge and production, Ukraine's Germana URCM-3000 stands as a powerful symbol of resilience, and a practical tool in the long road toward reclaiming its land, safely and efficiently.